you got to change it more, not not to sound you know, it's so not good. Who's you you don't do want to, yeah, but you don't want to sound Serious. so higher than a. Oh, who's going to book my cheeseburger? Oh, you don't want to sound so you know pretentious. Yeah, exactly. You know, you want to sound more like. Uh, but I you like know, <laughs> who speak speak generic like who's going to do this job, and that's the whole thing. We're talking about illegal immigrants. Yeah. They do the jobs that our children don't want to do. Is, yeah, is what it is. South Park, you know. I think, made fun of it one time. Like people's lawns were like up. Up to here, yeah, because the, the, the kid, they're they're beneath it. They're it's, it's below them, you know, in terms of. And that, actually, Bill Maher, who's been duly chastened ever since he had his little episode two weeks ago, and then Ice Cube tore him a, a new one. Uh, <laughs> he he uh, was on this week, and he was talking about the whole idea of how they want to bring coal mining back. He's like, don't I think there's like twenty one thousand coal mining jobs in the country as opposed to a hundred and seventy jobs at coals, you yeah. know, hundred seventy thousand. It's like, don't worry about coal, worry about coals. All these stores are going out of business. JC Penny, Sears. Right. Warehousing's the new thing. Yeah. Exactly, because Amazon just bought for Whole Foods, right? Whole paycheck. You know, how, yeah. Uh, how do you yeah. Know, how do you you said ice cube, right? How yeah. do you guys feel about Ice Cube's new um, thing? I heard it's supposed to start Sunday. Yep, at Barclays. Well, his three on three. Well, you know what's really oh the, the league. Yeah, that's gonna and, and they're talking about making it an Olympic. Uh, it game. is going to be an Olympic uh, sport. It's yeah, gonna be, and that's an interesting thing because it is an Olympic sport. It's already a championship. So we're talking about three on three basketball. Yeah, uh, it's going to be in the is it China or oh, so Japan? they they, they can have that, but they can't bring back baseball. Yeah, well because they because baseball is so uniquely American apparently. Meanwhile. You know, there's a lot of countries. Japan. Is Japan or Tokyo? I think it's going to be in Japan, right? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's Japan. J- Japan, Japan, they play yeah. baseball. But I mean, they're going to bring Curacao. three on three. Yeah. And, uh, and LeBron had a great answer as to who we'd want. I think he said Magic and Michael, I think he said, which, okay. is, which is a good answer to say. But the, the people that win these three on three are nobodies. They're not famous people because it's a completely different game. It's yeah, just a different, they, different they game. They were basically retired. I, I've seen Allen Iverson there, like Rashad Lewis, some, some old. How about Walter McCarty? I don't know. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that. But i seen a few known names. White Chocolate is coming back. Jason Williams. Williams. <laughs> you know I mean? You're talking to a fat guy. White Chocolate? Really? How, about, <laughs> how, about, how, about, how about Gerald Wallace? I think he well, might be playing too. You, know, you, you mentioned Walter McCarty. I always think of his wingspan. And yeah. tonight I heard that uh, because... I'm going to call him the French guy. What's the name of the guy that Nick's picked? Oh, let's uh, look it up. I'm yeah. really, I don't want to mispronounce it. Well, I didn't hear like a anyone month here take French Vegas? in high school. I did not. So anyone here take French Bonjour, in high school? Bonsoir. It, it did you? Me, no. It, it oh. took me a minute to get Przingis, uh, like a, a month to, to get Przingis, So The reason why I say Walter McCarty is that because he can lead the national anthem before every game. Oh, <laughs> well, well this, this French guard that the Knicks just selected. His first name is Frank. Let's he, keep it like he, that. Frank. Right? Let's call him Frank. <laughs> yeah. And Frank is French for Frank. So let's. Yeah. Frank. So let's. Do you even want to. He supposed they weren't. He didn't do combine stuff. He didn't do workouts because he's in the middle of the season over there in France. So he apparently is said to have a seven foot wingspan. Yeah, so, six five with six like five, a seven foot, which is really. I don't know impressive. if you want to try that last name. I don't know if you want to try it on the radio. Oh wow, no. What is it? Let me see. Well, luckily, there's nothing that could be a curse out of that name. It's <laughs> yeah. all ends, you know. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to. And there's one N word I'm not going to say because it's not close to that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay there. But uh, there's no nothing. It I looks can, like Nick Killer. <laughs> well, it is Nick Killer. Oh, well, you know what? It could be. That's that's going to be a tweet. We have to uh, we have to send that one out there. Now, do you guys have Twitter out there, uh, Cameron and Adam? Yeah, I have a Twitter. Uh, give it out to. The, do you want the crowd to know the world to know it? Give it out there if you do. Otherwise, if it's like a private one, yeah. Is it if it's like? Is it appropriate? Uh, yeah, if it's like if it's I love my little pony. Keep that to yourself. You know, we don't need to have that out there. Not that we don't like the bronies. The bronies are good. They're fun. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not a brony. <laughs> well, you should be. It's great. Friendship, <laughs> friendship is magic. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, though it is magic. Uh, so Frank, yeah, Frank. What is that? Nick Killa. Like it's like a triple word score in uh, Scrabble. There's, a lot, there's like two eyes in a row. Is it there? It's N T I L I K I N A. Why is there an N T in a K? That's not even French. <laughs> I'm not gonna try. I can't, I just want the announcers to do it first, so that's then a, I could just follow. That's almost like when I see N T in a K. It, that's almost like um, Scandinavian uh, yeah. or Eastern European, but usually Scandinavian. That's very interesting there. Yeah, so, uh, wow. Well. Oh, let's just hope. And who, what's the name of the center that the uh, your your Brooklyn Nets took. Who was the Jared? Jared Bell- Allen. Yeah, Jared, Jared Allen. Actually, Jared this Allen. guy was born in Belgium. Belgium. All right. But he's French national. Yeah. Well, Belgium is half French, half Dutch, and that is a Dutch name. And he. So maybe he's. Maybe there's some Dutch. Maybe in the he's background. Flemish. Yeah, Flemish would be. Yeah, exactly. Have you been to Belgium or Brussels? Or I've been uh, to Belgium. Yes, but not the Flemish part. The French yeah. part. Well, technically, so. it was actually on the border of Luxembourg yep. in Belgium. 
So OKC, I heard that they're going to get rid of Robeson. We all know who Robeson is, the guy who can't shoot for his life on OKC. And then in their draft, they just picked up a shooting guard. Do you think it might be some type of trade where they're going to trade Oladipo and Robeson to get maybe a small forward, which is what they probably need? Maybe Gordon Hayward? Maybe. You never know. Maybe. Well, I'll take that one step further and say, at what point does Brian Westbrook become the missing piece for other teams and say, you know what? I want out, and I'm going to go be the bell of the ball. Does that yeah. happen? Or is yeah. he a guy who says, no, OKC, this is where I am, he, this is what I'm going to do? He's trying to make – well, he has, he has one more year, so it's not like he's – you know he's fully loyal yet because right. we have we wait we got to wait to see. But for this year, I don't know unless he could get somebody now. I don't. Which I would, that's why I say Gordon Hayward because he's the only small Paul forward. George. No, Paul George is definitely going to all um, L. A. And now Butler is going. That's why I'm saying that I think the Cavs need to get Carmelo because then they have nobody else. And then I feel like I think Gordon Gordon Hayward might go there. Maybe I think so. Okay, I got the pronunciation. His oh, his okay. name is Frank. N. Tilly Ke- Kina. Oh, I thought he was about to say the letters. I was going to say that's the N. Tilly. It makes, Cor- it, it makes Porzingis look like Smith. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> or Shashevsky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you got to learn because, like, this, um, the player that the Celtics drafted in the second round is Gershon Yubuseli. Oh, you. Oh, oh, look at you already. You're an early adapter. Very oh, nice. I'm a little late. Okay. Re- next well, Thursday. Actually, yeah. Next Thursday, I want you guys to ask I, me. I remember doing the. Because the NFL draft was on Thursday as well. I remember doing the draft when the Giants took O.C. Umanura. Yeah. And we were like, uh, I don't know what Who this just name got is. released by the Jaguars, I think I heard. Wow. Yeah. Wow. When you're released by the Jaguars, that's like yeah. being life, released. Life is tough. Yeah, you're life out. You're done. It's, it's, it's like you're done. Okay. Think about think about something else. Maybe <laughs> maybe you can host Good Morning America. Like yeah. when T.O. got cut by the Seahawks and they had no wide receivers. Like, bro, you're done. Yeah. Sit down. Time yeah, to yeah, just. Know. Don't worry, T.O. You'll get in the Hall of Fame. Oh, wait. ESPN <laughs> NFL 2K5 cover. ESPN NFL 2K5? Yeah. What is that? Never played that game? No. That was the yeah. best. Yeah, you just made that game. <laughs> that had the curse. Because I know 2K17. No, that was on it before uh, Madden. This months? is before this is the ESPN. I mean, 2K18. Is Brady's on, on it now? No, is it, do they no, announce that Brady's on the new Madden? I think he is. Madden is on Oh, Madden is on There'll be no more Madden curse then. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You be careful. You don't know that. You don't know that. One of these Jets new players who think they were trying to shine right. could come off the edge, hit Brady, and then next thing you know, hey, the no. four years that we thought he was going to be. You never well, know. That like, has, the Jets have a history of knocking out Patriots quarterbacks only to create a great Patriots quarterback. Exactly. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> Drew Bledsoe. Yeah. <laughs> Jamal Adams will be the one that would knock Tom Brady out of the game. And all huh? I said Jamal we'll, Adams will be the one. We'll, see, yeah, we'll yeah. see Jimmy Garoppolo win ten Super Bowls. Yeah, and marry uh, who's who's that super hot model today? You know, yeah. that's, that's or, that's or Big Cat or um, Williams if he if he yeah. Or so watch him like wife of Kate, Kate Upton, like take take her from Justin Vernon. Yeah, yeah. Well, the I I, I, I think <laughs> though I think now the. Uh, uh, Jets linebackers play for Mepham right now. You know that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're really they're not or Freeport. Yeah, they're not very good. At least Freeport's they, they bringing football Lee, team. And they didn't yeah. address another linebacker spot, right? They only they, they, they traded for Demario Davis. Yeah, oh Demario. Yeah. What, what, so you what, brought back Davis and let go Harris? Yeah, but the main reason why they got rid of him because him and David Harris, like he's just a lesser version of David Harris. Yeah, yeah. So Every, so everything they have now is light. Do the same yeah. thing. You know, David Harris light. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh gosh. Just like uh, Caden McCown is. I pray for the day when I could just brag about. My team being like like winners, like I, I pray for that day. Well, just you know think about the shelf life of an NFL player. You don't have that long to to last, uh, and then you're you don't much remember much because you get so many concussions. <laughs> but okay. there, you're going to play a wasted year of your life because you, you have to. Exactly. You know? The only but the, what gives me hopes is watching the Cubs win the World Series, seeing the Seahawks actually be good, Golden State Warriors being dominant. That's what gives me hope. That one day I'll be able to. Oh, look at my Jets! Look at my Knicks! I this can't is, wait for that. This day. is all you have. To, <laughs> this is all you have to know about the 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 the, the Jets. Yeah. The last time they won, I wasn't born yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> was something gotta give, right? <laughs> and man wasn't on the moon yet. Yeah. By the way, call you're on Sports Talk. I'll just ask the Jet fans a quick question. Your worst nightmare would be Hackenberg giving you like four or five wins, and you miss out on the quarterback by next year, right? That yeah, that would probably have to be or or is is that but well, would that be good or bad? Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, well, maybe Hackenberg's maybe good. Hackenberg is the answer. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Maybe if you put well, talent. you know that's actually fool's gold. Yeah, that's to be like Hackenberg's the answer. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's Mark just says, wearing the, number the, five. The, the plus minus, right? Yeah. Mark, that's the plus minus yeah. right there. So no, that that definitely wouldn't be good. 
No, I'm just saying that it, it, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, a, a kickoff return, fumble, or a punt return, and all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, we're not supposed to be winning these games. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that was, no, well, that was, that was the Jorge Posada great year where he was on his free agent year, and they, they, they wanted to let him just go on to the sunset. Yep. And instead he has a monstrous yep. year. I'm like, all right, we've got to pay him. Yeah. And they, <laughs> they paid him, and he goes you know, straight down. And the thing about Posada, and I always say it, he, he's not a Hall of Fame candidate, but he is a Hall of Fame player. He did a lot for the Yanks, believe me. Well, the best thing he ever did was becoming best friends with the guy with named Derek Jeter. Jeter. <laughs> that was, well, hello, friend. That solidified, you know, that solidified the locker room that if, if Derek couldn't talk to you, Jorge would come over and talk to you. Basically, the, the, the problem time, was, I'm not, I'm not talking in 1996, Jorge made enemies with the guy he backed up. Yep. Named Joe Girardi, right? Exactly. And then twenty years or ten years later, that same guy is coming back to be his boss, and it was like, okay, you know, remember that time ten years ago when you were the whippersnapper yeah. and I was the old guy? Yeah, now I'm a young manager and you're an old player. You know, <laughs> just remember one thing, Chris. Twenty years ago, these guys had no money in the bank. Yeah. Now you do it to a guy like him. He's made so many good invest. You know, again, I'm sure Derek Jeter has suggested to Jorge over the years who was investment uh, counsel with my Well, there's a story tonight that Derek Jeter has told the Marlins that he doesn't have the money yet, but he's close. So does that tell you that the fix is in for Jeter? You know, I'll get you. I'm there. I'm almost there. As opposed to them just going over to some other rich guy and be like, oh, I got it. Here you go. What, what are you, is that made out to Sam? You know. Well, the beauty of something like that, especially in that area, is it's going to be a millionaire or more than one. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I, I have to move into the next century, a billionaire or something. Yeah. That's going to say, I want my name in the paper and, you know, for good reasons. And all of a sudden, he'll back. I'm going to really be best friends. Having lobster in Boca. All right, Dave. I'll talk to you. You got it. All right. 516-572-7440. 516-572-7440. Mark Tarkitikovsky has found a Twitter account for a Dolan J. Trump. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> which, which is uh, James Dolan face with Donald Trump hair. And, and the background says, make the Knicks great again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's not a bad sentiment, but... Uh, you know, it's gonna take it's gonna take some doing. And right now, the Cavs is trying to do a deal to get Danny Green over Long Islander. Yeah, but come on, North he hasn't showed up in North like what Babylon the last two years. Yeah. St. Mary's, right? Yeah, that's a long run. He hasn't showed up in the last two years. That's not helping you either. I they, think JJ Redick would be a good fit. In that yeah, even JJ oh, Redick would be JJ. better. They need to find somewhere to do, to really put their money, Mello. But um, well, it's, it's clearly <laughs> yeah, it's, it's clearly Carmelo. But but, but but the thing is, the thing I'm afraid they probably need JJ ready too because I don't even think Melo Melo being my favorite player. I don't think Melo is even enough to beat the Warriors. You could keep this Cleveland team right. Well, obviously, maybe Kevin Love would have to be out. Of, well, that's out what of I want to know. What's the deal with Kevin Love? He's he's gonna go somewhere, but <laughs> no, 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 Chris, Chris, I want him to finish his conference. Finish what you was about yeah. to say. I was about to say what? What? Then Melo going to Cleveland? I don't think it would be enough to beat the Warriors. Uh, that's what I was about to say. Is it? I said the same thing last week, and he was like, no, 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 no. no, They no, got no, enough. No. They got enough. No, yeah. no, no. I said, no, our argument was if he brings all his guys, which was Chris Paul and D-Wade too, I said that would be, they, they could beat the Warriors. You said that was enough. I didn't say Melo going just over there is going to be enough to beat the Warriors. How much gas See, the tank try to catch me. do you guys think Dwayne Wade has? <laughs> two years. Two years? Two if years. he's with a good team or? With, with Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> Plus his, yeah, two, two years. Because, I mean, Chris Bosh is done now, right? He's, yeah, he's yeah. done. Yeah. I feel bad. So. I feel, but he's a good chef, I heard. He made yeah, he, a lot of good he's money. Go, and he's going into broadcasting. Yeah. So he's, yeah, yeah. he's a perfect only. guy for it. He's a good guy. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's oh, he's one of the most beloved guys. In the, he's like yeah. Curtis Granderson. Yeah, Curtis yeah. Granderson could, Dude, could drown kittens and no one's going to yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> a great guy. Where is he in Raptors' all-time greats? Is he like the uh, top? Vince Carter? No, no. Uh, Chris Bosh. Ra- in terms of Raptors? Yeah. His number get retired? I think uh, he, I, could he get retired in two teams, Miami and Toronto? Yeah, he's he's. Could, would they retire him in Miami or no? They, that, they that's won the champion. How many did they win with him? Two. two. So that's. I would say that's two more than they had before, but they've won before without him. So. Well, yeah, one, with D-Way. But uh, na- so, but now the LeBron situation. Obviously, LeBron's going to retire. He has a Cleveland Cavalier, right? Yeah. But that whole Miami thing, when he's that's where he first got his rings. You don't think yeah. something has to it's happen? It's one of those. There? Just as time heals old wounds with the Cleveland Cavaliers, I guess it will with like Miami with as well. With the Nets and Jason Kidd. Yeah. Who ever thought they would have retired his number? Yeah. So and then know, he comes back. It's 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 things. Time, number one, time heals old wounds. And number two, if you've learned anything from the Yankees in recent years, it's for it's to get people in the stands. 
right? Retire a number, Monument Park or whatever. It's, it's to get people coming to the games. You've got.